The City of Gaul is a secondary quest inside the Adventures of Galton, but can be done separately from the first one of the Lost Queen. This one originally got introduced up to the boss Ahu, but with the Winter Update 2023, it's getting expanded to introduce another boss, the Mythmap Vanguard, and with that it's also possible to finish the Ancient Ochre of it, as well as unlocking new spawns. There is no requirements to start this quest, you just start by getting close to the entrance to Ixopan in Port Hope, then go Roshamu and talk to Sandomo, say hi, door, yes, grandfather, father, key and diary, and he will give you the first piece of a disc with a piece of paper. Using the paper reveals the location of the remaining pieces of the disc. One is located in the underground cave of Fola. Go down through either of the entrances and follow the path that leads you east. You will need a pick or a tool to access the secret cave, and then click on the skeleton to get the second piece. Now head to Oramon through the south Minotaur camp and into what is called Oramon East. You will need to go through more Minotaurs and even some high class Minos, for which I recommend around level 100 to do so. To get this piece that is in an island, you must have 5 nails, and then use the crate to get wood boards. Use them with the nails on your backpack and that will allow you to use the sturdy wood to get teleported to the island. Then use the skeleton remains of the dragon to get the third piece. Combine them with each other to get the full key, and using that in the entrance to Ixupan at Port Hope teleports you inside. This first area is the original Ixupan and the spawn itself, despite being huge, is very underwhelming. It recently got some buffs to experience, so I plan on trying it out for a video. So subscribe if you are interested on that. Moving on, you can head straight to Ahu, go to minus 3 following this path. The boss itself just needs to be attacked, but every time he's about to die, he will heal to full for a total of 5 times. Any vocation can solo the boss at around level 200 with good fire protection, and kiting unless you are an EK. But even so, most people don't bother with doing it, unless you want to unlock Bostiari, because the first skill is enough to receive the outfit, since he will drop a living idol of Took, and using that gives the base of it. To get the first item, you must loot 4 pieces of equipment from the X set. They are somewhat rare drops from Nahu, but even the monsters of Ixupan drop them, although possibly even at a harder chance. Once you have the 4 pieces, go inside the Ahu room with the set equipped and then defeat him. As long as you have the set equipped upon entering, then you can take it off during the fight and still receive the item, but keep in mind, the items will be destroyed upon leaving. Now moving on to the recently added second part of the quest, a new NPC named Ahu's Dead Chamberlain is located right outside the level room to Ahu. Just say hi, yes, and that grants you access to deeper Ixupan by clicking on the sphere near him. This area has new monsters, the Ix Yupanak, and Midman Seers and Scouts. The difficulty of these monsters is greatly different from the previous Ixupan. Even running through them on a 600 was risky because of the high density of monsters, but I assume taking it slow or being more careful, level 400 or less can still do it. Their main source of damage is energy, followed by death, so gear up with that on mind. You must get to the second floor by the north, but be careful with the spike traps on the way, because if you get hit by them, three times, then you are teleported to the beginning. You can see how many chances you have with an indicator by your guild icon. At the second floor, you start to encounter more minmats, which are the harder creatures, and since they are also ranged, running through them is not that easy. Your first goal in this area is to fight the Mid Keys. The first one is near the stairs to the northeast. For the second one, you need to go north and east from the Tuk statue, levitate up for a shortcut. Go down the stairs and follow this path to the room with a sphere on it, and click on it. You get teleported to a room with levers. Start with the right lever and go into the passage, follow the path and use the lever at the end, and then click on the sphere behind it, which teleports you to the left passage and right next to the lever. Click on it and then go east. Once back in the middle room, use the north lever and follow the path again. Use the lever and the sphere after, to get teleported to the south passage and once again next to that lever. Go north and back to the middle room. Now go backwards to the entrance where you came from, and this time go left from the statue, following the path to a room with a chest and a jewelry case in front of it. From the case, you get another midman key and from the chest some random valuables. Go north from that room and you find a mini boss named Atap. You can't lure this boss too far or he disappears, similar to the ancient lion in Bonak, so kill him inside that room. He is just slightly harder than a creature here, so it shouldn't be an issue. Once he dies, he drops the third key. Be aware that he is rumored to drop a dark idol of Thuk, needed to tame the new mount, the Mystic Jaguar, although it definitely is not a common drop if that's the case. Now, before the next part of the quest, you need some items. 
an ancient X ritual chalice dropped from the X Jupanax and a ceremonial brush dropped from the Mimats. This one seems like it can be shared among others, but the ritual chalice gets consumed upon using it later. So if you're doing it with multiple people, get enough of this. Once you have those items, then head straight north to the Tuca statue, where you will find a black bucket floating in the water. Then use the ritual chalice on it, and a bucket with ritual water will appear, along with a lot of ugly monsters. You need to push the bucket with water north near the basins on the sides. You can just ignore the ugly monsters since they are ranged creatures and have a lot of HP and don't do much damage. Once you push the bucket near the basins, all the ugly monsters turn into cursed apes. Kill them or just run past them to the north and now you will be able to go through the wall. This area is also filled with mimats, so be careful about that. On the first room to your left, you will find a barrel. Use that to receive a base with paint. Use the ceremonial brush on it and go backwards to where a tab is and use the brush to paint the edges of the doors, but most doorways in this area work as well. Do this three times and then you can go back to where you got the paint, where you will be able to enter a room by the west with a skeleton in front of a throne. Use the skeleton to receive the fourth and last key of Mythmap. Then head back to the main rooms, go north, and you will be able to go through the gate to find the lever to the new boss, Mythmap Vanguard. This boss spawns with two Mythmats and two Ix. Kill those first and they won't respawn. After that, you can just focus on the boss. His main source of damage is energy, which comes in a big AoE around him that does around 3 to 6k damage. He also has other big AoE attacks that as an EK I wasn't getting hit by, so I don't know the damage of those. But just so you know, as a level 600 EK with low skills, I was able to solo this boss on the test server, so I don't consider it too difficult for a team of 2 or 3 level 400s. Just make sure to have good energy protection on the EK and for the shooters to be careful with the AoE attacks. If you try to solo this boss as a mage or paladin by kiting it, be aware that at random the room will release a curse that after a few seconds casts a root inside the room. That stops you from moving for 4 seconds. Additionally, the boss teleports around the room and heals himself for 5k in the process. It didn't happen often enough so I was still able to solo it but if you get unlucky, it might be difficult. Once you defeat him, you automatically receive the second add-on for the Ancient Alcor of it. This boss also drops a variety of new items of the Stoic X set, with two new equipment pieces for each vocation. These new items also come with a new feature. Besides the traditional elemental or physical protection, they now have augments, which boost different spells, potentially making them very desirable for most players. And that's all I got for this video. If you like the content, consider subscribing, or even supporting directly with DCs to Goody Donation. Thank you for watching and special thanks to the supporters of the channel, Tuna Hero, Nice Star, and Torta Slasher.